Hey YouTube, Art Pipeline here. Hope you guys are doing great. Okay, so listen, uh, I didn't miss the video this week, so let's keep uh, the streak going on. Uh, and before we get into the video, uh, I'm trying something new. Uh, I'm trying to keep my videos much shorter and clean. I don't want it to go like 20 minutes and I realize that, yeah, they are getting pretty long and pretty boring. So um, I'm trying to do something different and this video is gonna be really short and on point. Please let me know if you would like this type of videos more, right? And hopefully you enjoy it. So uh, yeah, today's texturing day. Let's get into it, Substance Painter, okay? And uh, without any further delay, roll the intro. Hey guys, uh, so here is the room again. Ooh, I got this back again on the screen so you guys can see what and all I'm clicking and doing. But pretty much, yeah. Okay, so uh, moving on. We have the room. I renamed the three pieces to red, green, blue, right? And if you go into attributes, they have different materials called P1, P2, and P3. Okay, so let's export this room. Quite simple, select the whole thing, go into file, export selection. Make sure your file type is set to FBX export. Go into file name and type in room or anything you like. Oh, for people who do not have the FBX, go into Windows, go into settings and, settings and preferences, go into plugin manager. And over here, if you scroll down all the way, you should see, um, let me see, let me see. There you go, FBX Maya. This is uh, the thing you need to check, right? Check both of them, hit refresh, and you should uh, be able to see FBX export. Welcome to Substance Painter. So click on file, hit new, right? So this is how you start up a project. Document resolution is something you need to set. Um, higher you go, better resolution you're gonna get. Uh, people can go to up to 4K, right? If you have a badass PC, I do not. I'm gonna select 2K. Make sure this is PBR metallic rough, please. And in file, go into select, and then you can navigate to your room scene. There is my room. I'm not gonna change anything else, right? And just say, okay. Uh, navigation is quite simple. So if you hold down Alt and left click, this is to rotate. Alt and middle click is to pan, right? And you can zoom in and zoom out with the mouse wheel. And if you hold down right, uh, I mean Alt and right mouse button, it's smooth zoom in and out. And there you go. You have your whole navigation done in Substance Painter. Before we do anything, we need to bake our texture sets. Now. Go into texture set settings, click on base mesh maps. You need to scroll down a little to find it. When you scroll down, make sure uh, you hit output size as your document resolution, which is 2K. Check world space normal ID and position off. We do not need those. And then just hit bake selected textures. Okay, so now after your textures are baked, you can start texturing your room. All these materials you see here, right? can be applied to your room. So for example, you see gold pure. If you want this wall to be gold, you just click on this, drag and drop it, and you can see that things turn red. And right now they are turning red because I have three materials. So it's gonna turn material wise, right? So more materials you have, more individual things you can put it on. For example, if I put it here and let go, there you go. We have a gold sofa. We are rich boys. So there you go, right? You have that gold look. And now you see how basically you start texturing, right? Because this is a whole texture, it applies to the whole thing. So I could take Iron Shiny, for example, put it on the whole thing, and there you go. You have Iron Shiny, right? And I could even, let's say plastic cables and put it there, there you go, right? Plastic cables. Okay, so now that you know we can drag and drop materials, um, let's, let's work on this. So for example, I have to first find what objects I'm going to apply a material on. So for example, P3, and apply a gold material on top of it, right? You can see that in the layers panel, there's a gold layer added. Now, if you want this gold to be added to only specific objects, we have to use something called masking. So right click on the layer, create a black mask 
add black mask the second top now when you select the mask go into this icon here which is called polygonal fill and now you see everything turns red you have four options which is a triangle fill a face fill the whole object fill or you have the uv chunk fill so don't worry about anything right just select this for now it's called the mesh fill and because we added a black uh, mask you see that all the gold has gone now right so with this selected and make sure your color is set to white which is the value one if you click on an object it turns gold if I click on face it's pretty much what uh, you think it's gonna do it's going to take one face and then it's just gonna put make that golden at any given point if you want to clear this mask right click on the mask and say clear mask and there you have it it cleans up everything now if I have the black mask on and with my mesh fill if I select this sofa and for example I just want these two to be gold but then I hit the third one by mistake right if you want to remove something white fills the colors with the layer you want it and if you slide this all the way to black black deletes and the shortcut key to switch this is the X if you press X on your keyboard it switches from black to white now that we know what a black mask does let's know what a white mask does as well so you right click and you add a white mask and now you see that it's a white thumbnail here white and black are exactly opposite white does the opposite of what a black mask does mask as you can see the gold is still here none of it has gone but then you use the color black and then click on objects to delete and you change it to white to add let's start texturing so when I went through all the materials in substance painter I did not find all the materials I needed for this room oh and before we go further I'm gonna get the exact thumbnail we are gonna replicate or at least try to get close to it so here it is on screen bring it up perfect okay so now that it's on the screen right let's try replicating it um, you can get free materials from these two websites they're gonna be on the screen right one is paid one is free okay so I look for materials now once you have downloaded the materials the way you import them I go to file you're gonna say import resources add resources and then you're gonna go to wherever your resource are so now that you see that I have four five six seven eight materials I'll say open all of the materials come here and you can see that they are stone granite um, leather and wood right so I'm gonna click on the first one hold down shift click on the last one select everything click on uh, unidentified click on base material so everything has been set to base material I want this to be in the current session only import and when I do that you should see that my new textures here which are not in substance painter get loaded okay so let's get to texturing so looking at the reference right we have a brick wall on the side so I'm gonna apply that right zoom in and I'm gonna play with the scale and try to match it and that looks good enough I'm gonna put this to 3.5 now if I come down here you see that it has brick colors you can always go and change it right and it should apply here and you can click on that I'm just gonna make it darker because they all are dark in the reference now that the wall is applied and I like the way it looks what you could do is right click add a black mask go into face fill and I'm just gonna fill in the faces I need the material to be and click on this brush icon to come back and there you go we have textured a wall Ta-da! that's basically it that's how you have to texture each and every wall each and every object 
right if i ever wanted to change this or rotate this i just go into its main layer click on the main layer go up and then you can rotate the wall there right so that's basically it so i'm gonna speed up this video now right because you guys got it just trust in yourself go try it repeat the video pause and play wherever you like and you should be good okay so now that the room is completely textured now if you notice that we have few picture frames and we need to add a picture here and if you want to do that you could do one way which is add another empty layer here click on the brush icon here go into your brush settings and you can go down over here in the properties and you can see that there's base color there's height there's roughness and metallic you can change all that for your brush settings decrease the sizes and start painting and go crazy right so you guys can do that that's perfectly cool or you can just um, download images okay okay I'm kidding I'm kidding um, you can after you download your images you can just import it into your project go to the file uh, click on import resources add resources go to desktop right um don't go to desktop go wherever you uh, have saved that image i'm just gonna take in my two images over here and make sure you select both click on it and say texture make sure they're texture go into import current session and import now you can see that you have your images imported. Click on project tool, right? This is the projection. And if you click on this, you see this white square on the outside. So basically, if you notice here in the uh, properties panel, let me just increase this. This white uh, plane has its own uh, properties, right? That is the projection. Now in the base color, I can just drag and drop my base color here right and now if you notice you see the image is actually projected on top of that 2d plane right but you can move and go wherever you want in the scene uh, like the normal way you would do it right if I zoom in and zoom out you can see that uh, the environments moving but the picture remains the same so if I zoom in here right and I click just click left click on the screen um, you should see that it has placed that image over here what I just need to do is just do this perfectly align it exactly how I want it right easy peasy and I'm gonna bring my brush and I'm gonna go ahead and paint ta-da right now select your brush now that the painting is complete now you can repeat black mask polygonal fill and click so there you have it your whole room has been textured this is basically how you texture at the basics of substance painter hope you guys um, like this right it was short simple and straight to point if you guys would like uh, me to make more videos like this instead of the long 2000 hours please let me know and i shall do that and uh, now that this room is done i'm going to show you how to export textures let's go into file export textures now in this here is what all the materials you select of what you want to uh, export right and as you can see that we have three materials if we export all the materials it's gonna export p1 p2 p3 in the same folder and that's that can be messy right you can do it individually as well so it's all pre-planned so what I will do right now is because I told you guys that I'm gonna go into room go into my textures right make three so p1 p2 p3 and that's my folders so now that this is done you hit output directory and you show it the path right so it's in the room and you go into textures p1 so i'm going to do p1 first i'm going to say select folder right make sure this is set pbr metallic rough 
make sure that it's PBA, PBR metallic rough because that's the template we selected for this. Uncheck P2 and P3, right? Because we do not need that. We just need P, uh, P1. Go into global settings here again. File type, keep it to PNG. If uh, you would like, you could change it to Targa as well. I'm going to change it to Targa. The size is going to be 2K. That's my document size, right? And if I move this over here, I can click export. And you should see that it exports these. Base, roughness, metallic, normal, and height. And you are ready for the next episode I release, which we are going to render this room in Blender. And that's that will be the final video for this series. I really hope you enjoyed this video and it made sense and it was not too fast. Please go back and check off all the points which you know I went through quickly but there you have it. That's how you texture, right? Uh, with that, I am out of here. Have a great day ahead. Love you guys. Peace.